Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a CDT program and actually see what it looks like out in the field. We have some video that we're going to show you and hopefully this will help you to kind of visualize what you're going to facilitate, uh, what's going to happen as a result of your training and your ministry. So as you watch this video, I want you to watch for some things in particular. I want you to look for the three groups of people who are involved making a program work, a ministry go, all right? The second thing I want you to look for is how is the training done? The third thing that I want you to look for is how are the spiritual and physical integrated in a program? How do we integrate the spiritual and the physical ministries? And then the fourth thing is I just want you to observe what kind of activities are done in a program. All right, so we'll run the video and you look for those things and we'll talk about it afterwards. The CHE program has three areas. First is the training team, which is usually made up of four people of differing skills, such as agriculture, healthcare, spiritual, or development. The training team chooses an area approximately two to five miles in size, where 3,000 to 5,000 people live in several villages. The team helps the communities in the target area to organize themselves, identify their problems, and then do something about solving those problems. The second element of CHE is the committee chosen by the community, which is then trained by the training team. The committee oversees the program as it plans, budgets, implements, and supervises the CHE volunteers. The committee supervision is key in the sense that the program belongs to the community. The third element is the community health evangelists. They are men and women who are recruited by the committee to undergo training and generally have less than seven years of formal education. The CHEs walk to a central location two days each week for 30 to 40 half days to be trained. They receive a physical and spiritual topic each day. Teaching methods include lectures as well as participatory techniques such as stories, songs, role plays, demonstration, and small group discussions. On days when there is no class, the trainers spend time with the Chays visiting homes and modeling what the Chays are expected to teach. The job of the volunteer Che is to visit the homes of their neighbors sharing the physical and spiritual truth they have learned. They are primarily concerned with prevention of disease, some first aid, evangelism, and living the abundant Christian life. 